Greetings Church. Greetings Church. It's not again. again. Um, I'm waking up right now. It is Thursday morning, um, the 14th of um, of April, and uh, I was supposed to be up at 4:30. I decided to do a little resting, uh, a little bit longer. Um, wanted to catch you guys up to date with. Um, my activities here um, seems like a churches keep up with me in ways that are normally um, surprising you know you go somewhere and you work for some for a group of people and uh, you find out that they're the church or they're maybe they're not the church I don't know they were just pretending but in any case what's going on these days um, yesterday uh, Wednesday I had put up a video uh, which I was supposed to put up on on Monday, and um, uh, Declaron's April 2016 um, updates and encouragement. Um, that same day, I had crashed and basically burned um, with uh, with my situation with the with the gay community. I'm not with them, but um, they're the community that has been, I guess, either hired by the clan or. Uh, Grace Community Church to constantly ask me for um, to constantly ask me for sex or to constantly ask me to to sin. You know, I'm not exactly sure what to do, but uh, anyway, um, there is stuff developing. This is this is where it's at right now. Um, I had some posters up at the apartment complex of um, the Bible study posters. They've been taken down. Bible study posters they've been taken down I'm not exactly sure um, if they're going to be brought back up again um, like I said yesterday in, in the um, in the article that I had written um, I'm still serving the Lord in ministry um, I went back to work for labor ready out in Beaverton um, and um, I didn't want to go back to work for the labor ready in Portland I needed a break from Portland and wanted to work for a different uh, branch um, so far I've gone out to work but you know situations being what it is have not exactly changed you know same company um, now it's different tactics different people same same ridiculousness um, you know same plotting of the gay community um, people uh, they're using young young boys young men people representing family members or you know somebody in the um, somebody in the government you know that sort of thing um, homosexuals um, fags you know whatever it, it's, it's one of those things it's, it's like that's what makes the world go around you know but um, it's the never-ending story of dealing with um, people's anger and rage and whatnot and trying to bring out the the worst in you you know supervisors that are rude obnoxious and just cold callous plotting and so on and so forth you know um and of course you know you come home and still dealing with gabriel franklin you know she's still coming into the apartment and assaulting you sexually and um of course the police department is forever giving you hints that you need to come out and you need to stay out as a fag and it's like, Lord, how, do I, how am I supposed to, I haven't read my Bible in three days, how am I supposed to, you know, walk with you and um, maintain a Christian mindset and, you know, go to work and not know whether or not I'm going to come back that day because there's a plot against me, you know, um, either at work or, you know, at home or go to Paul's bookstore and you don't know what's waiting for you. You know what I mean? It's one of those things, church, and... Um, and being that I'm not altogether plugged in like I should be because of what's going on with Franklin and MacArthur, it's it's one of those things where people are forever trying to, you know, trip you up, you know. Um, it's weird. I had this dream about about drugs. You know, I'm not a druggie. I'm not from that side of, of life. I'm not from the drugs and I'm not from the homosexuality. But I had to learn. I had to learn what homosexuals are and what they do. Um, and you know, it, was, it freaked me out. You know, that um, Haitians would try to bring me over to that side um, under false accusation or something. It was a really weird dream. You know, 
And I just thought, man, that's the last thing I need in my life, you know, is to be falsely accused of being a drug dealer. And somebody putting drugs in my in my coffee or somebody putting drugs in my food or, you know, while I'm not looking, you know, Melinda says, hey, you know, I think somebody put something in your uh, Starbucks coffee yesterday. And I thought, really? And it's like, no wonder I was feeling so high the other day. But I'm not a drink. I'm not a druggie. So if somebody is is putting drugs in my water, in my juice, or in, in my coffee while I'm not looking, um, the same way they can bring me down, so can they bring me up at speed, you know what I mean? Um, and the last thing I need is for the doctor to, six months from now, um, to to check my blood and only to find that I have some sort of drugs in there, you know, uh, and I'm, you know, up, up, you know, uppers or something. I don't do any of that, you understand what I'm saying? I mean. Yesterday, I know like several times the police department, now it's just, it's not a matter of them coming to me and saying, hey, you need to come out. You know, the police drives by and automatically you know that, oh, you need to come out. You know, it, it's that understanding that you have with police or you have that understanding that you have with somebody that looks like somebody that you used to know. As soon as you see them, automatically it means this person or that person. I don't live that way. Um, but this is where it's going with the world. You know what I mean? Um, you don't have to see a dentist, but you can just look at a Russian person and know that, oh, hey, the dentist was here. I don't live like that. Um, I'm fighting it. Um, I'm fighting the urge to go in that direction with my thoughts. You know, you run into somebody um, at Labor Radio or wherever you're working, and the resemblance or whatever information they have. You know, I went to see uh, Shen Yun, the Asian, um, the Asian... What's it called? This this thing here, which was very strange. Um, um, I thought it was just a um, just a performance of dancers and and whatnot. And I found out that it was it was a religious thing, right? I'm gonna make this video real quick because I got to get to work. Um, I owe money, so I have to go earn money. Um, you know, it's like when you when you're on a social security disability budget and um, and then you have to live off of that. You have to live off of that. And you also have April. Okay, here it goes. April. We're in the month of April, aren't we? Yeah. April, May, or something like this. Um, so I went to see Shen Yun. I was on Saturday. I had the choice of going to see. I think it was Saturday or Sunday. I had the choice of going to see King and Country, but, you know. I was told don't go see King and Country. Why? I'm not exactly sure, but uh, either they're not they're not the real church, or I, you know, bad report, you know. And um, and I thought, well, that's weird, but okay, I'll stay away from the the music. I love their music, you know. But the warning came forth, and I thought, okay, well, I better be careful with what I'm doing with ministry and all that stuff. So. Um, so I went to, so on Tuesday, I think it was, I went to see uh, Shen Yun, this, this dancing thing here. And, um, and I thought, well, wow, great, right? But then um, somebody was communicating uh, some bad stuff, you know, um, and what was coming through was kind of weird. And I was just like, whoa, what is this? You know, and, and the stuff that they were communicating was, um, it was, literally confusing me you know it's like hey those people don't want you to watch their their show you know nobody came to me and said to me nobody wanted you to watch their show but you know nobody ever came to me directly and said hey we don't want you to watch our show because you're a black guy and we're whites and you know you know stay away from our production and we don't want that so um we'll give you back your money don't come here again you know that sort of thing it it, it never nobody ever came to me and told me that right but um, the, com the community, the unbelievers, whoever, you know, sometimes they don't want you to, you know, they don't want you to be a part, right? They don't want you to participate. They don't want you to, um, you know, they, they, they don't agree. You know, it's like, oh, why are you spending all this money? And he goes, you know, watch that, 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 that piece of artwork, you know, you're not supposed to, you're not allowed, you know, and the gay community has this stickler on what I can and cannot do, where I can and cannot go, who I can and cannot associate with. 
Um, and so like sometimes I feel like a missionary, you know, you're out there and you're by yourself and you don't know who your enemies are and who your friends are. And people have the tendency to backstab you and, you know, go through your personal property. They want to know all your business. They want to know how you make money. They want to know who you're sleeping with. They want to know if you're having sex with girls or if you're having sex with boys. And, and then they want to use it, you know, sort of like a dig a hole in your back because they just want to be assless or they just want to be mean, you know. They just want to be evil. So, you know, I, I don't, I personally don't have an issue with, um, with the Asian community. Um, I don't have an issue with uh, this thing here, this music, this dancing. I think the performance was great. Um, the performance was great, and I don't have a problem with them as a people and as a family. And um, uh, I think they have some religious stuff uh, in here uh, about Fun Fun Lung, I think it's called. And um, they're getting persecuted and. I heard some stuff, you know, and I just thought, well, I was there for the dance. I wasn't there for anything else, you know. Um, and so, you know, just clearing my own name with, with what's going on, I just, people have weird things that they communicate. But in any case, I'm not I'm not here for, for, for war. I'm here for peace, you know. Um, I'm not here for war. I'm here for peace. I'm not here for the diversity of black and white. You know, if people have racial issues, that have nothing to do with me because I'm mixed. And um, there's there's racism everywhere. You know, in every job and in every person. And I would caution all men. You know, whether they're working for Labor Ready or not is irrelevant. Or another company. You know, I would caution all people to be careful. You know, with what you do with others. You know, what boomerang. What goes around come back around. You. You plot, you put drugs in someone's bag and, you know, and the police arrests that person and puts them in jail and, or if you're working for, you work for bad company, uh, you know, what does the Bible say? Bad company corrupts good morals, you know, if you, if you, if what goes around comes back around, you, you know, you set me up so I can go to jail um, and I lose my apartment, I lose my home, because uh, I went to Beaverton, right? Beaverton police arrested me before for calling 911. And um, Beaverton police um, arrested me for calling uh, 911 a second time. And the reason why they arrested me was because the, the police mistreated me. Uh, they mistreated me and I was trying to report them. And instead they turned it around and uh, put me in jail, right? And so, you know, the police department and I are like this, right? They go gay clan and I go Christian. And so they'll put me in jail in a snap. Right, uh, because I don't want to be a fag. I don't want to par participate. I don't want to put out. I don't want to, you know. And and so here in Portland yesterday, you know, I, I mean, let me put it to you this way: I can't even if I walked on the same island that Safeway, that the Safeway store is at, because of what had happened with Safeway when I was a homeless in Seattle. Um, the Safeway down here took it. The one that's at the corner of Columbia, and I think it's like Tenth. And you know, you walk on the same island automatically they're like oh my god you walked on our island you're in trouble now you're going to jail and um and that's it we told you don't walk on the island you're not allowed to walk on the island homosexuals have the tendency to do that they exaggerate they blow things up they make more out of it than what it really is and in the end you end up in jail and in the end you end up um mistreated you know it's like yesterday i i i took a i went to work and i couldn't use the bathroom and um when I immediately got there so I had to I went to uh, Starbucks to, to use it and I couldn't use it there either they had it all set up you know that they're the community they make a big deal out of waste you know you have to use you have to let release your waste somewhere you know and they make a big deal big huge deal out of it oh my god you're in our store and you know it's almost like every every restaurant you go into you there's eating there's drinking there's pissing and shit shitting right you you it's, it's the natural part of life diapers you know in any case um, and I couldn't so when I got to work of course you know I, they made a big not the job itself but um, you know they make a big deal out of it you know it's like uh, hey why didn't you you know use the restroom before you you come here it's like well you're a construction facility why don't you have a bathroom here for people to work you know that sort of thing and um, you know and then I eventually did use the restroom somewhere, and um, and that was it. And I feel like it, you know, like my stomach was going to explode, you know. But this is this is what you're dealing with with that community, you know. People 
do things that are malicious and that are evil and you don't really know what you, you can't stop them from being who they are you know um, I saw blood on the hand of one of the supervisors the guy that hired me yesterday and I thought man you know that's the last thing I need is to see that guy's blood because if it's not his blood eventually it'll be mine and I don't want to bleed now you know first kicked and punched and hit and then now bleed no I don't want to bleed you know I don't want to bleed from a kid nor do I want to bleed from a manager in any case um, my time is up here and um, I just wanted to keep you guys up to date with what's going on I give I've just thrown a barrage of information at you and um, you know, keep the faith, church. I, I don't know when I'm going to be able to uh, do another series. You know, maybe one on prayer. You know, I, I went to the um, I went to the Presbyterian Church uh, last Sunday, and um, they came out again. You know, the K community. They came out again, and they they always want to feed my flesh. Okay, I don't want my flesh fed by these by these people. You understand? Um, I I, I want to eat good food, and I want to be a good man and, and a man of God but I don't I don't need my flesh fed and, and that's the big thing the big thing is uh, you know when I, I walk into any church building is make sure that Kevin commits a sin with somebody from Grace Community Church to the community so that the community knows that he's a fact this is what they're plotting you know everywhere that's the reason why my life is still running it like a dog you know running after his tail in, in circles because of the fact that they as a community don't want Christians to be free of their sin you know the same sin that God had condemned them to live as homosexuals they don't want Christians to be free of that they want to use it they themselves they want to live as fags and be accepted as fags and marry and, and go all the way but when the Christian man has to deal with the same issue as them and we stumble and we fall or we do exactly as they do the first thing they want to do is condemn us and then they want to limit us and then they want to take away our uh, privileges and then they want us to live by their standards so it's not just the sex but it's also the way of life and what you lose when you go in that direction so it's it's not just the fact that they want you to eat their flesh you know give them oral sex but they also want you to penetrate them or they'll penetrate you and if you don't penetrate them they'll come to your house and they'll penetrate you or they'll have your mother do it you know it's that sort of a thing you know me and you know my history and I have enough videos out there so that you remember and I put the videos out there to keep you up to date and to remind you that this is what's going on with this community I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded um, you know I could finish it today and not upload it for a week because of everything that's going on in my life and I don't have time to sit and upload everything right um, now I'm going I, I you know now I'm back to work again so I don't know if if I'll be able to uh, upload it today uh, at PSU or somewhere else but bottom line is is that as believers we are called to live you know uh, in Christ on the Christ no matter what we have an enemy his name is Lucifer Satan and he will use any community that is not of Christ any community that doesn't have the Holy Spirit any community or any group of people calling themselves a community whatever the gay community the clan community the international community who's got racial issues um, and that could be a variety of people right he will use those unbelieving communities to take away your faith in Christ. He will use those communities to kill you and to destroy you and to destroy everything that you believe about God and everything that you believe about the salvation that you have in Christ, right? That's why Paul says, I have lost all things for the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. But don't think for a minute that Satan will not use the government or your family or um, somebody that looks like a member of your family, a, a cousin, uh, 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 your mother um, they will use members of your family your sister you know like they've done with Marianne and Sandra Theodore um, the geek I mean they're they're the people Satan will use even your own children and your own spouses to turn against you so that you will lose your faith okay the faith that you have you have as your own conviction before God you go any further than that um, and you don't take God at his word you're going to be shocked at where you end up in life okay the Lord communicates to us on every level uh, in dreams in visions in scripture through the Holy Spirit and through other Christians if you don't take him at his word 
you will find yourself in the more the most obscure situations that you never intended to go in. You know, this morning what what prodded me to um, what prodded me to do this video was not the stuff that I've heard, the bad prep, not the you know the stuff that I've heard about uh, the show or um, the homosexuality that I'm supposed to be living um, and constantly chasing after young boys or you know it, it's it's the hit from Gabriel which I still get every night or the community when they come in and twist my toes and stick needles under my feet and then use her to do some of the most horrendous things you know no it, it's about the fact that I had this weird dream you know and the dream was a warning to me that you know people might be putting um, drugs into my personal you know my drinks or drugs into my food or you know if they can go in one direction they can go in the other right if just the other day they drugged me so I could be sick so can they drug me so that I'm I'm up you know and I feel strong and and um, they can go from one from from one angle to another you know from one side to another and then you end up being sick and you end up dead before your time you know so I caution you um, watch out for the world and it's plotting you know the Bible says uh, Satan plots around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour and he will do it do, he will do it he will catch you at the worst time when you least expect it through managing through management any kind of managers uh, people you live with people you go to school with people you go to church with you don't know if those people are born again just because they show up on Sunday morning holding a Bible under their hand it doesn't mean that they believe this just because they're holding on to it doesn't mean that this is what they live and this is what they believe. Just because you see them on the church property doesn't mean that that's who they are. Anyway, I've said too much to you already and I've given you more than enough um, warning. And this isn't just an encouragement, this is a warning. Be careful out there because I've got to be careful, right? And if you hear that I've been in jail or I'm dead, well, you were warned because you know what? This is what the devil is going to do to us. And you don't know which way he's coming and which way he's going and who he's going to use. He could use your dentist. He could use your doctor. He could use your next door neighbor. He could use your mother or somebody who, you know, wants to represent and say, hey, I, you know, I'm they don't come out like that. Hey, my name is so and so and I'm representing your cousin, your friend, your mother, your brother, your sister, your, or whoever. They don't, they don't come out like that. You're supposed to have an understanding. It's, a, it's not a divine understanding, it's a devil's understanding. Be careful of the devil's understanding. Be careful of the devil's trickery, the schemes, the plans that he will go through to, 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 to deceive and distract and destroy you.